Christ Redeemer King Thou art Lord of heaven Thou to whom we sing God the mighty Thou hast come Bearing gifts of praise Son of Adam still Thou art Saviour to our race. Jesus, Lord, we thank Thee for this wondrous gift. In our land Thou dwellest, by Thee we are fed. We who share this mystery in thee are made one every act we offer thee in thy name is done thou who died to save us livest as our light though our eyes are blinded Do thou be merciful, Lamb for sinners slain. We in grief confess our guilt, cleanse our souls of stain. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to this holy hour come penitential service. As we know, our churches are not able to have these penitential services during this Advent. In fact, since the pandemic started, and therefore, Tonight, we are providing this penitential service to assist us to make a perfect act of contrition after examination of our consciences and therefore assist us on this journey of reconciliation. And we hope when the chance appears, presents itself, we can make our individual confessions later. For tonight, I'd just like to invite all of us to put ourselves into God's presence, to stand before Him with contrite hearts as we now listen to this parable of the lost sheep from Matthew chapter 18 verses 10 to 14. See that you never despise any of these little ones, for I tell you that their angels in heaven are continually in the presence of my Father in heaven. Tell me, suppose a man has a hundred sheep and one of them strays. Will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hillside and go in search of the stray? In truth, I tell you, if he finds it, it gives him more joy 
than do the ninety-nine that did not stray at all. Similarly, it is never the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. So my dear friends, the Lord always searches. Jesus always looks out for us, or at least He sends persons. He helps us to encounter persons in our lives that may warn us, may invite us, may challenge us to return to Him, or perhaps to send people in search of us if we have strayed away, or we ourselves have been called to bring others back to the right path. So today we are assured of this Good Shepherd who never leaves the lost alone but continually follows after us, searches for us and we pray that we too will not stray too far away from the Lord and this time of grace given to us to return to Him to come back to the Lord once again into His embrace where He carries us on His shoulders. And I'd like to just help us now to examine our conscience with a few perhaps reflections or points for us to reflect upon before we make our act of sorrow and we make our act of contrition later after some time of silence. But for now, have I rejected my faith, refused to find out more about it? Have I forgotten my daily prayers or said them badly? Have I shown disrespect for holy things, places or persons? Have I brooded over injuries or refused to forgive? Have I been verbally or physically violent to others? Have I betrayed confidences without good cause or revealed things simply to hurt others? Have I judged rashly? Have I been drunk or used illegal drugs? Have I looked at obscene pictures, films or books? Have I been vain, proud, selfish, or self-seeking? Have I told lies to excuse myself, to hurt others, or to make myself look more important? Have I failed to contribute to the support of the Church in proportions to my means? Have I cheated my employers or employees? Have I given scandal or a bad example? Have I been lazy at my work, study or domestic 
duties. Have I encouraged others to do wrong in any way? Have I prolonged disagreements through resentment or failing to apologize when I have been in the wrong? Have I mistreated my spouse verbally, emotionally or physically? Have I been unfaithful to my spouse in any way? Have I neglected to teach my children to pray? Have I failed to exercise vigilance over what my children read, see on television or on the internet? Have I been harsh or overbearing to my children? Have I lost control when I have been angry? Have I sulked or been sarcastic instead of asking for help? Have I treated teachers or other adults with disrespect? Let us spend the next perhaps 20 minutes or so in silent reflection, looking at our lives and truly examining our consciences and then presenting ourselves before the Lord with a perfect act of contrition later.
Christ our Lord came to call sinners into his Father's kingdom, let us now make an act of sorrow in our hearts and resolve to avoid sin in the future. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. We pray for the 40,262 new COVID cases in Malaysia to date bringing the total to over 2.7 million infected. We pray for the almost 57,000 cases that are still active and for their recovery and for an end to this endemic. We pray for our public health care facilities, the average utilization rate for our hospital beds is just about 68%, with nine states recording rates of over 70% full. We pray for our dedicated and selfless frontliners, medical personnel, volunteers. We pray for their physical and mental health, as well as the health of their families and loved ones. For the synod process underway in our Archdiocese, we pray that our parishes, ministries and all people of God will be able to encounter, listen and discern together what the Spirit is telling us as Church. We pray for the Sarawak elections this December 18th that the elected representatives will be leaders with integrity and caliber who value unity in diversity, making Sarawak a model for the rest of Malaysia to emulate. We pray with expectant hope that our families and communities will be kept safe in this season of Advent as we prepare to welcome the infant King at Christmas, may we be ever grateful for the many blessings we have received from the Lord's hands. We also remember the victims of the Typhoon Rai in the Philippines. Pray for all those victims, those who are suffering due to this Typhoon. Let us now call upon God our Father in the words that Jesus gave us and to ask him to forgive us our sins. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive, and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. How is this act of perfect contrition done? One, being sorry out of love for God 
has often been described as having a desire to be reunited to God because of who He is, because of God's perfect love for us, and because of sorrow for having offended God by sin. It means wanting to live in unity with God and to put aside the sins that stand in the way. And two, we must make a firm commitment to go to confession when that becomes possible. An act of perfect contrition is not a replacement for the sacrament of penance. The sacrament of reconciliation remains the sole ordinary means for the forgiveness of mortal sins after baptism. And so let us now together make this act of contrition. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all because they offend Thee, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of Thy grace to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. Given them bread from heaven, having in itself all divine. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament left us a memorial of your passion, grant we implore you that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood as always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption, 
you who live and reign forever and ever. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great. Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, in His angels and in His saints. O Sacrament, most holy, O Oh, uh -huh.
Thank you, my dear brothers and sisters, for spending this hour with the Lord Jesus and also presenting ourselves for this penitential service. And I pray that the Lord will pardon our sins as we stand with contrite hearts before Him. Once again, thank you and may God bless each one of you. Good night.